Hi, welcome back to our Honors Geometry playlist. In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the range of possible values in a triangle inequality if you're given three sides. So if we think about a regular triangle inequality problem, one where maybe you have uh, 13 and 17, and I want to know what the range of possible values is for the third side, 5, 13, 17, and some third side, then I know that the range for x is going to be between the sum of those two numbers and the difference of those two numbers. It's got to be greater than 4 and less than 30. In the same way that I know that the sum of these two must be greater than the third side, right? So whatever this side is, it has to be less than 30. It could be 29. It could be 7. But as long as that number is less than the sum of the two other sides, I've got a triangle that works. So any two sides here, it doesn't matter what two sides they are, we know that two of these sides, whatever pair you want to choose, two of the sides are going to be added up and they will be larger than the third. So the sum of these two sides whether it's x plus 5 and 5x minus 7 being greater than the third side. Or you could say, I don't know, the sum of these two sides is greater than, so you could say x plus 5 plus 2x plus 22 is greater than the value of the third side. Because no matter what two sides I add up in a triangle, doesn't matter what two sides I add up, they will always be larger than the third side. So like here I could add up 13 and 17 and it would be bigger than 20, or I could add up 20 and 17, it would be bigger than 13, or I could add up 20 and 13 and it would be larger than 17. So add up two sides, the sum of any two sides would be larger than the value of the third side. So I'm going to erase this if you don't mind. Just give myself a little bit more room. So the value of any two sides is greater than, or sorry, the value of the sum of any two sides is greater than the value of the third side. So the sum of any two sides is greater than the value of the third side. And if I combine my like terms, 6x minus 2 is greater than 2x plus 22. 4x minus 2 is greater than 22. 4x greater than 24. So x must be greater than 6. So x is greater than 6. Or I could write it the other way x is greater than 6. And then I'm just missing the other half of my inequality. But where would that come from? That would come from stating that the sum of any other two pairs, so if I add up, I don't know, 5x minus 7 plus 2x plus 22, and saying that's greater than x plus 5, or in this case I added up x plus 5 and 2x plus 22, and I said the sum of any two sides is greater than the value of the third side. So if I combine my like terms, 3x plus 27 is greater than 5x minus 7. Or 27 is greater than 2, 2x. minus 7, 2x is less than 34, 
So x should be less than 17. And look at that. There's my range. If I take my original values, right, and this one was x is greater than 6. So if I take my two values for x, that those two inequalities, x we said was less than 17 or greater than 6, I can put those together into a compound inequality. And that would be my range of values for x. x could be anywhere between 6 and 17. All right, let's try one more. And again, the big idea here is that the sum of any two sides, doesn't matter what two sides you choose. Let me pick a different color. But the sum of any two sides is going to be larger than the third side in order to be a triangle. So let's try that one more time. The sum of any two sides must be greater than the value of the third side. So 6x plus 6 must be greater than the value of the third side. And if I combine my like terms, if I subtract that x over 5x plus 6, greater than 13. And if I subtract that 6 over, five x must be greater than seven. So x is greater than seven fifths, or well, I guess that would be exactly equal to 1.4. So x is greater than 1.4, and you could leave it as 1.4, or you could leave it as 7 fifths. It doesn't matter. But that's just half of my inequality. This is only half of that compound inequality. I have x is greater than seven-fifths, but how in the world do I find that second part of the inequality? Well, I'm going to have to do that same process again. I just added up 2x plus 7 and 4x minus 1, and I said that was bigger than x plus 13. I'm going to have to pick any other two sides. Maybe it's x plus 13 and 2x plus 7. So I have to say that x plus 13 plus 2x plus 7, if I add up any two sides of the triangle, it should be greater than the value of the third side. So 3x plus 20 must be greater than 4x minus 1. Or if I combine my x's, 20, if I subtract that 3x from both sides, and then I'll add the 1 over, and I would get x is less than 21. Now, if you tried to do... Let me do this in a third color. I guess green would work. If you tried to do x plus 13 plus 4x minus 1 is greater than 2x plus 7, if you tried to add up these two sides and set them greater than the third, then what you would get is 5x plus 12 is greater than 2x plus 7 or you'd get 3x is greater than negative 5, and that one really wouldn't help you at all because we already had x was greater than 7 fifths. So that doesn't help. And you would have to do a third inequality. So we just kind of got lucky here that I only had to do two of them. 
you might have to do all three. Um, a quick way to identify what two pairs you should do, I would make the smallest one, so this is definitely the smallest one, because it's 1x instead of 4x or 2x. I would make the 1x all by itself on one problem, add up the other two, and set that greater than the smallest. And then for your second inequality, I would add up the smaller two and set that greater than the largest coefficient. So that's a quick tip for you to identify what inequalities to set up so you don't have to do the extra work um, of the third inequality. So set the larger two smaller than the, set the larger two greater than the smallest side, which is what we did first. Set the largest two greater than the smallest side. And then set the smaller two greater than the largest side. Let me know what questions you have.